Spot on, spot off. First topic, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. saying maybe Richard will hold my watch after being wrecked out of the all-star race on lap two and promising to deliver payback to Kyle Busch. Kelly. <laughs> so, well, spot on. And I'm assuming that's what he said in his television interview. He did, Because yes. I was in the scrum when he left the care center and he had a whole lot more to say, which <laughs> basically was very blunt saying, just watch after the race. Because he was stuck there, right? There's no tunnel at North Wilkesboro. So, he was just going to get madder and madder as the night went on. So I'm spot on the fact that he said it, he meant it, and he followed through with it. And I'm also spot on if I was to judge the, the punch, which I'm not an expert, but one of the things I've always said for years, having watched enough NASCAR fights, is if you're going to throw a punch, don't warn them, don't tug their collar beforehand, don't you know, get right, like clock, cock your, no, you just swing, right? And he swung and he connected. So A plus on that. So I'm spot on on the whole thing. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, I mean, the, the wreck, I, I, I agree with Ricky on the wreck too, because it looked to me like. It's more than 34. Yeah. It, well, yeah. It looked to, well, it even looked to me like Kyle hit the wall before he, you know, he Kyle did. moves up into one and leaves the entire middle lane oh, open. Oh, he doesn't hit the wall because of Ricky, really. But yeah. I mean, there look, wasn't enough. He it, was going to hit. It looked to me After. like he, he was hit really the wall. wide off that corner. Yeah, it looked at me yeah. he, like it looked to me like he hit the wall and then hit Ricky and then kind of you know bounced back up in there. Um, but yeah, this was like to your point. I thought Dale had the best tweet of the night when he said cement <laughs> all the tunnels. <laughs> um, you know, Ricky said that punch looked like it had 199 laps of anger built up behind it because like if you listen to the audio, like Kyle never really says anything to set Ricky off. It's just you could see like. It, the whole time he's like, I'm going to hit this guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, and eventually, you know, Kyle's smart. Like, Kyle didn't seem like, didn't know what happened in the wreck well, anyway. I, well, actually, what Kyle said right before the punch was because Ricky kept saying, I didn't hit you. I didn't touch you. You hit the wall and hit me. And Kyle, from the angle where you're looking at Kyle's face, Kyle does a Kyle where he kind of gets sarcastic and he's like, really? And Ricky's like, watch the replay. And Kyle's like, I don't believe that's what happened, but if, if that's what you say, then okay, right? And as soon as he was, like, he didn't even finish saying okay when here comes the punch. <laughs> so I think maybe that set Ricky off even more that he's like, I don't believe you when you say you didn't wreck me, so. Uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> it was this, and then it, with the melee ensues, they both end up on the ground, here comes, uh, what would appear to be Ricky's dad. <laughs> in the middle yeah, of I, I, the I don't whole know, thing uh, was fantastic. I, 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 he will feel it this morning. That's the part, who, who Kyle? No, Ricky's Ricky, dad. Ricky's dad is definitely going to probably be sore, but <laughs> I'm I'm just spot on for the whole thing. Um, <laughs> Keep it coming. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, listen, you can't just – I'm not – I mean, I've seen Kyle go down there and throw punches too. Really? So, I mean, hey, it's uh, it, we're all racing, and I don't think Ricky put Kyle in the fence. I think Ricky – they were going to hit – we're right off the exit of the corner because the 34 was moving Ricky up, but that's not Ricky's fault, no. you know. But Kyle did hit the wall before, and, you know, Ricky and, got and there. And Kyle, and I mean, I don't know where he was going into <clears> one, but he left the, the whole middle lane open. Yeah, like, I thought, really well, that's wide, the thing, too. Really you, wide. You leave it open, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you, like, a guy like Ricky's, Kyle would, if, if you switch the cars, Kyle's going to do the same thing. Exactly. You know, and there just wasn't an, there wasn't going to be enough room on the exit. But Kyle definitely got another. They were going to hit eventually, and you know what? If they hit a little bit later, like maybe Ricky gets turned into the wall at that point. But um, yeah, I don't know. It was uh, exciting. I'm sure we'll be talking about this. You know, it was very obvious too because Kyle. You know, I, I we started last essentially, and so it was right in front of me. I see the eight getting the fence. I watch, you know, check up eights in the fence. All right, keep coming. And then he goes into three and tries to wreck him. Doesn't couldn't get to him. <laughs> and then he go. I told Bubba down the front. I said, I think the eight's trying to wreck the forty-seven. And sure enough, he oh, goes yeah. into one. Yeah. You know and, what? You know, <laughs> it yeah. Pounds him. I was like, oh man. The walk to the holler. Like this oh, is. Oh, and this Ricky, is gonna, can we, Ricky is just like leaning. Right. Can we break yeah. that down for a minute? Well, that's like, what I, like, like his whole. I'm literally waiting here for you. So also, I think I think Kyle was told he was there because Kyle got out of the car and myself and a few other, of course, like we're waiting for him, right? Like we've already heard from Ricky. He's promised that something's going to happen. He didn't look surprised. So, so a few of us are standing there and myself and I don't remember who it was standing next to me. We look at each other and we're like, all right, first one to spot Ricky wins, right? So we're standing at the eight and we're already looking like where, like, is he actually going to do something? Kyle gets out of the car, takes his helmet off, kind of, you know, messes with his hair as he normally does. I'm of the assumption that Jimmy White told Kyle Ricky's at the hauler because mm. Kyle stood there for less than like two seconds from getting out of his car and then he started walking with purpose. Did you know it's his birthday today? 
Jimmy White. Jimmy's. It's his birthday every and day. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Jimmy. So, I'm sure he's really and enjoying it. And that's just it. my <laughs> assumption. That is my assumption based off of, because I didn't hear it, but that's my assumption based off of Kyle's reaction where he got out, like I said, he got out of the car, he didn't stay there, and he was walking with purpose to the garage. And didn't he say, like, here we go again? Like, <laughs> as if he knew this was you coming. Know, uh, you know what it reminded me of? This is gonna, it's going to be weird, but remember at the end oh, of 16 good. Candles? 16. Whenever all what? the I don't when all the cars pull away and there's candy. that guy standing there with next like that's what Ricky looked like a little different for, you know but what I'm okay about? pose yes. and everything like everything about this was perfect oh. it I was so Brick. good it is like you looking for me Brick yeah, I didn't you. know what Brett was talking about because I got was we hightail out of there as soon as the race is over so Brett calls me on the way home and. He's like, dude, some guy just got DDT'd on the lift gate of the of the, of the eight hall. I'm like, what? Oh, what are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, that one crew member was. I think I think Chasm had compared it to like the Royal Rumble. If you're a WWE fan, and I'm a WWE fan, so when I saw that tweet, I laughed out loud. I was like, that's true. He was like, nobody is getting in here. Well, shout out to all of the media members and really every even fans that were surrounding that area. I would love to see like compilation videos of everyone's faces like Bob when he's holding the video and Davey oh when God. he falls that oh. was that, that was, was a, that's another funny story because after that happened I'm I'm in the garage I'm watching it with Bob we're laughing Larson comes running over to watch it Cliff Daniels comes over and every we're all just making fun of Bob and we're like Bob you know oh. by the time you get to the media center it's, that's gonna be a meme or a gif it said and it, it was, was I think it's his profile picture <laughs> yeah now well it, he, it used to be the Brad K fight that. <laughs> Did you ever seen that the, uh, guy is like my name's Paul and this is uh, between y'all so, like <laughs> so I was I was texting him last night that's Josh Sell that works for us <laughs> and I'm like dude you're internet famous right yeah. now yeah. there's a huge brawl going on and you're just standing back there kind of watching I've ever it. seen any emotion on Josh's face no. ever. <laughs> and all a lot of those guys were in the Brad K fight like years ago I'm pretty sure Jimmy was Brad's rep or was that a year after mm, I don't uh, he wasn't. He oh, wasn't there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. Because I mean, no. there were a lot of similar like. I don't think so. Crew yeah. guys. Maybe. I don't think so though. Anyways, moving on. Earlier this week, during an interview on Sirius, Chase Briscoe talked about SHR's future, saying there's just a lot of uncertainty. Nobody really knows what's going on. If SHR is still around, I feel like they would keep me. And on a similar topic, Kevin Harvick stated that on the differences of working with Hendrick Motorsports this past week, seeing the owner twice in two weeks is nice. Oh, with driver contracts and sponsor negotiations being a big part of the sport, is SHR dissolving? Uh, I mean, a spot on for Chase's comments, spot on for Harvick's comments, because I know I have a lot of friends. I know TJ has a lot of friends over there, and it seems like anybody you talk to that works over there doesn't know if they have a job next year. You know, they don't know. Like, there's a lot of guys worried about their future uh, on that race team. And it's it's a four-team operation right now. So it's, it's, a, it's a big undertaking. And I don't I mean, Kelly maybe more, knows more than any of us in the table. But, you know, I, I see, like, I feel like the, every rumor I hear out of that place changes daily. You know, yes. and you, you, whoever you talk to, is, it's a completely different rumor. Um, you know, so it's, it's hard to understand what the hell's going on over there. Um, you know, then, then just backing up with, just, you know, like we talked about last week, you know, two charters here, then they're going to sell the other two. Are they dissolving? I don't know. I don't I don't think so. I, I think there's going to be yeah. some remnants of <laughs> SHR left, whether they keep a charter or if a charter moves down to the Formula One shop. I don't know. But it's it's like I said, it's, it seems like every time I talk to somebody else about this, <laughs> the rumors change completely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm spot off for that part of it because those people are in the unknown and that sucks. I mean, they're, they're not enjoying it, but... I do think it'll all turn out to be okay. I think, um, you know, it's pretty – I think what Noah and, you know, Josh and Chase and you know, I think what some of them guys are doing is pretty impressive, you know, for in the state that that place is in, um, you know, having really solid runs. And, you know, if they don't have that penalty at the beginning of the year, they're – you know, some Noah's pretty decent to points. Yeah. Um, what? Oh, oh, I thought you were done. Uh, no, I mean I, I'm just I'm spot you off. You cleared your throat. Usually that's your. Cue. I'm spot off because I don't I don't like what those guys you know those employees are going through, but I think um, I think the future will be good still. I mean I don't think it dissolves. I think something happens and it either you know I think it'll work out.